All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to do some basic uh, maintenance features on Moodle. Um, these are important to do from time to time uh, for various reasons, which we'll discuss in just a moment. All these features are located in the administration block. Um, first, there's backup. What backup allows you to do is to essentially make a copy of your course and store it in a separate location, say on an H drive or a jump drive or, or someplace like that, so that in the event something were to happen to Moodle, you would have a copy of it. Uh, that you could uh, save and have all your work um, uh, saved in a separate spot. Restore allows you to bring back that course that you've um, backed up. Uh, we'll take a look how to do that in just a moment. Um, and Reset essentially flushes the course of all students and grades um, and activity so that say at the end of the year um, when the course is done you want to get it ready for the next year all you have to do is reset the course and you'll have a, a brand new uh, copy of your course if you will. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Reset. I'm going to actually do this with the actual training course itself. There are a lot of different ways to do this. You can select um, very specific things um, like roles, your grade book, groups, things of that nature. Probably the easiest way just to do a general reset is just to select default like this. And then reset your course. Okay, it'll tell you the items that it's dealt with, tell you the status is okay, and you just click continue. Now there really was no activity on this course, so there would be no nothing to compare before or after, but the course is uh, is reset. Okay, now I'm going to back this up. I'll click backup. It's going to ask me what I want to back up specifically, and as you can see, there's a lot of different information. Um, I'm just going to leave everything check marked here. And really the default is a way to go, however it comes up here is, is, is probably the best way to do it. I'll click uh, continue. This is just a bunch of basic information telling you what you're about to do. Continue. This might take a moment as there are, is a lot of information uh, in the course itself. Another nice feature about backing up a course is uh, once that's done, theoretically, uh, if I'm a world history teacher and I back up my course um, and say I and my LLC with other world teach, uh, history teachers have worked on uh, activities and, and building kind of a Moodle together, we could theoretically back that course up, restore it for a new teacher or for all teachers for common assessment purposes or anything like that. So it's a it's a nice feature for that reason as well. Okay, it's going to tell me that uh, the backup completed successfully. I'll click continue. And it's going to create um, the course here um, in my Moodle. So it's actually on the Moodle server right now. Now if I want the file, I'm going to actually click on it, just as I just did, and I'll click Save, and it'll ask me where. In this case, I'll just save to my desktop. And actually, for the sake of time, uh, there's a lot of videos in this particular course. I'm not going to actually have it run all the way through. Uh, when it does finish saving, it's going to wind up showing up right here on my desktop, and I'll be able to do with it what I what I like, save it to where I, I want to save it. So that is how to back up a course. If we want to re uh, restore a course, I would just click here. It would take me to the course that I I backed up, and I just click restore right here. Now, that is essentially how to uh, reset, backup, and restore a Moodle course.